Welcome back everyone to Plenty Full Board, where today I am playing One Deck Dungeon. I am playing the Aquamaster, one of the new heroes against the Dragon's Cave, a very old opponent. But we have with us the Mareflection, which is causing us all sorts of little bit of grief. It's going to cause us even greater grief because we're about to head on to the third floor of our dungeon. Heading down. And the fiend is enraged and determined to stop me even more. Now, if I'm able to confront the reflection as I'm going down there, I will get three dice at six. Which would be really, really nice if I'm able to survive long enough to do so. And, of course, collect the necessary dice. But let's see what we've got here inside of our dungeon. And, oh yes, of course, dragon skin. I've got... The dragon skin there, and this, I can't, I don't think that's normally a box, but, I mean, normally an armor, but at each combat encounter, add armor to all large boxes. So, even if that's not normally an armor box, it is now, and maybe it is that I just don't remember properly. Either way, it's a great deal of trouble, and I have to deal with it. Oh, wonderful. Beetle Survivor. If any armor boxes are empty, discard this instead of looting. One, two, three, four, five armor boxes that I have to deal with. <laughs> Actually, I think it is normally an armor box because it's... Right, because you only face this when you are against the foe, and I'm pretty sure there's normally an armor box there. So there aren't any added ones due to the fiend in this case, but I do have a great deal of trouble that I'm going to have with this one, so I think... Well, I don't want the item in there. I don't want the crushing blow. It doesn't sound like a great skill. Actually, crushing blow just turns a cheap yellow into a six. Let's try it anyway. Let's. I'm going to go for two of these. Actually, I was just saying, if any other armored boxes are not filled, I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh. Yeah. Now, let's see what I got here. Four. Three. Uh, oh, actually, I can't fill that yet because we've got oh, we've got this. That. Oh, actually, maybe it's better to do it that way. And that way, I can have four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well, I filled all the art. No, I still have one more left. Huh. Well, no problem. I've got plenty of magic here. So let's do... All right, four. Let's get that. I get to increase one die. So where am I just short of what I need? Hmm. Oh, this is going to be one of those situations where I really wish I could see this card. Oh, here it is. Three, four, five. Oh, you can do that. All right. That's good. All right. So three, four, five, three, four, six are the numbers on there. So three, four, five. Yeah, actually, that will come in very, very handy if... So I will increase that die. I'll remove that. Place that there. Good. And I can put this here. Oh, there we still got this thing. Alright, then we've got that six. No, what's oh, that's at Alright, 
now we have this here. We have that at five. So I'm now only at one time that I'm losing. I have six mana. And I can use that in order to fill that in. How am I doing on my pool right now? I've got three extra yellows. So let's, let's put that into there. Let's put one of them here. That takes care of actually all of my damage that I'm taking. So I'm taking no damage, actually. I'm going to put that in the six or put that in the yellow. I'll put that in the six. And that takes care of everything. So then the So I think I took the right number of dice in that. Do I want to take the crushing blow? Oh yes, I think that's what I wanted to do because it was I'll need that in the boss fight, I think. There you go. And I am at my skill limit, but I can get one more two more items. But I don't want to get the second item until the next time I've explored because of our friend up there. Or I think fiend is the better word without the R. Here we go. Locked door. Let's bash it open. And I think that's what we need to do with this thing. We are at skill limit. We can grab... Oh, do I really want a mana item? Actually, a mana item could come in handy because I could use all these skills. So probably an extra mana item will be needed for the boss fight. And that I think of it. But I will want yellow dice. I got four dice already. I will get one black die. I'd say one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is the minimum number of dice I think I could reasonably survive this with. So let's enter. And oh, say bash it open. Let's see, do I want one or two? So the consequences are one, two, three. I'm going to take two. I think I say I'm going to roll so brilliantly that it'll make that whole thing look like stupid. Well, actually, no, that looks like I didn't roll stupidly high. And in fact, I, I fail. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. I didn't roll a five or higher on seven dice. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, that's the disadvantage of having no peril abilities is because when you do this you've got nothing in it. Now I will get killed if I take the consequences right away and that means that I have no choice but to drink a healing potion they'll bring me there then I'll take four damage so I have to take the healing potion and then in the encounter because there's absolutely nothing I can do about I mean I could actually there is something I can do and that of course is to fill in some of these dice here up here I don't want to fill in too many of them I need to give keep myself some dice available. One, two, three, four. Well, currently we'll have three left after this. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, one. One, two, three, four, five. 
do three, four. Oh, because I've got one die there. I think that's probably the limit I can stick on there. Let's try that one there. One, two, three, four. Let's. I have only one die left in that pool, so I don't want to use both of them. But we'll put we'll put the two there, and I think that'll be enough on there. At least start to fill that in. Maybe I can fill that in for later on there. At least salvage something from this rather ruined encounter here. <sighs> Warning: There are uncovered boxes. Yeah, I know there are uncovered boxes. The problem. Oh, I mean, yeah, and fortunately, there's nothing I can do about it. So end anyway. <laughs> yeah, ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah. All right, I'm at the skill limit. And... All right, we have that there. Now, I can't take any more... Well, I can take one more item. The problem is that whatever item I take is going to eventually have to be thrown out when I explore again. All right, let's see what nasty thing awaits me. Can I take this? No, first off, heal. Oh. No, 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 no. That's... Uh, I meant to click that as soon as the turn started before looking at that, and of course I forgot. And she... See, if I do this, what's the best way of doing this? I was thinking, if I use the invisibility potion, it's one thing I could do. The trouble, I got too much time left on that, too. I want to see if I can somehow score that all the way up there. This is going to be very, very risky. No, I don't want to skip to heroic feet. I want to take both of these dice. But I think that if I don't risk it, I'll have an even bigger problem. That's an awful roll. That's a horrendous roll. Well, All right, fine, let's see. Yeah, so let's see, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, that sort of takes. All right, all right, I managed to get by that. We got six, four, let's see, blue and a red. Five, five, three, three. I'm taking five damage, which of course is going to be fatal, even if I do drink a potion. So that's obviously. Uh, let's see, two sixes. Oh yeah. So if I take one of those sixes, I get some of those black dice back. All right. I think the two sixes this might be my best. Oh, I have to discard a die. Oh, I... Okay, so I can't do that unless I do that. Which I mean, I have to remove every single die because I think I've got... Actually, no, I think I could just remove that one. 
because I want to discard this die when I do this, because I'm down to only one die there. Let's see what I can do with this. Oh, wait a moment. I do have this cleave ability that I forgot about. That's another thing I can do there. Let's see. Now let's try it this way. And now discard that die. And that'll give me my six. All right, good. Now you can have this up here 16. We can move this. We can move this. Well, actually, I guess that means. All right, we have it. Okay, now that's perfect. Now we can put this up here. And. Hmm. Well, that's. Oh, that's right, because I drew two sixes in there. Yes, of course. Okay, so we can put that into there. We can. See, I have no yellows in the pool. That's the problem. I need a C for three. What if I put this and this into here? I think it's the first time I took that combo. All right, good. Oh, that's right. This up here, two, four, 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 four. I completely forgot about that up there, and that was part of my thought process, was to risk it by putting that stuff up there. That was a truly bad thing to forget. All right, four, two, four. But the cleave now might be able to give... Can the cleave give me what I need? Well, this can give me a four, two, two... Four, and I could spend that as a yellow. And right, I could spend that as a yellow for the cleave. So I was thinking cleave and make that a four and everything else will be right because that becomes a four, that becomes there and these, that two, oh. Uh, oh, right. That means we need All right. This has to be four, four, two. But that can only get, and that would have to be the four. And I turn those two into a. No, I can't because I don't have any yellows. <laughs> any way around this? How about if I put this in here, remove these two, that gives me a two there. This could increase to give that a four. This could be increased to get a four. This, so we have three threes and those threes could be increased to a four. That gives me a two. So I could dump this then into cleave. Or I can, I have a black die left, right? So what if I do that and that? That gives me that. I dump that in to increase this. I can increase that, increase that, increase that, increase that. Increase those four dice. So we got the four, four there, four there. Four there, two there. Ah. All right, good. And I can confront that, and I can get two blue dice. 
I could put this three into there. I can get two blue dice and what do I do with the other thing? Well, before encounters, but let's see. What do I, because, okay, I get the two blue dice. Fine. It'd be nice to get a yellow die, but oh, but as soon as I confront them, if those dice become available in the pool, I can get another one. All right. Good. Let's confront. Yeah. Those are f suddenly free and in the pool, which means that I can now get three dice, two blue dice, and then the third die should be a yellow die because now I've got plenty of yellow dice available. All right, I completely fudged it up and forgot about about that thing, but boy, that remembered it in the end, and that's what got me through the encounter. So thank you for confronting the fiend. And on top of that, it means that whatever, if there were any added armor boxes, they are no longer there. So let's see, Aquamaster is at the skill limit. I'm at the yeah, one, two, three, four. I'm at there. Now, unfortunately, well, actually, I will take the item. Interesting here, I have only one more. One more to go. And then I'll have to explore. Now, if I explore, I will have to lose an item. But if I can find a way to lose plenty of time on here, it'll be great. Unfortunately, there are only two consequences here that lose time. And I need to lose three time. Because if I can spend three time, then I don't have to explore. Ooh. This is probably a bad one to have here because I don't think there's any way around that situation. Because that means I'm going to have to throw away one of my items. <sighs> well, there's nothing for that. It is time to... Enter and face the goblin. Right. I mean, I guess I could theoretically have fled. Wait a moment. If I flee the goblin, I know it's a strange thing to do, but if I flee the goblin, I know this is gaming the game a little bit here. So if I flee the goblin, I have to spend another two in order to face the goblin. I know that is really gaming it a little bit. But if I do that, I face the goblin, I go it again, spend another two, spend another two there. Actually, I don't think I'll be spending that. This is going to get a little bit, a little bit on a complicated side. But okay, I will undo that. And instead, I will flee. See, see if this crazy thing works. So, because I spent two there. Now, I space the goblin. Now, I have to face the goblin this time. I have three in there. And now, roll the dice, see what happens, and what do we have here? Let's see. But, well, at least answers the question, yes, that armor slot has always been there. 
I was starting to think that anyway. No, I need this to become that. I could toss that onto there. And in fact, that's overkill. But I don't see any way around that at the moment. See, I need five, five. I have to obviously get rid of all. Oh, let's see. We need six mana to. Okay, no, let's. I need five mana if I want to do that, right? So I'll need five mana to reserve to save that. So I need four, five, six. And why I wanted to do that, I can't remember. I'll be probably to go into there. Good. And we can. This here, so you have that available. Six, eleven. So I've got two more there. Oh, and in fact, let's see. I'll toss that as a temporary thing so that I can get this here for this here. So I could get this six back. All right, that's a perfect number for that. Maybe I could find a more efficient way to do that later. But I got all those filled in. I've got that filled in. I want to leave that four open. I can leave that there. I can leave, well, this is, that all up there is moot. So I lose one time and that's exactly what I want. Anything else left? Not that I could think of. I mean, I could cast a spell there, but what's that going to do? It's just going to fit that stuff in there, and that's not going to do any good because that's pretty much out of the game now. So I think it's time to end the encounter. Yes, end anyway. And loot. Dodge. Aquamancer is that there's good. Prevent one. In a boss fight, prevent two damage. Use before suffering consequences. I, re I only have two dice there, so that's unlikely going to help me in any way. So I am not going to do that particular item. That is... Well, I'm at my item limit right now. Oh, is there, do I need another one of these? I got three of those, two of those, four of those, and there are no real items that... Uh... All right, let's, I guess I'll just have to take the for XP, even though it's not going to do me any good. Two goes there. I have the option to descend, so I don't have to explore. And that's exactly what I wanted to to happen, which is why I took that extra time consequence there. So let's descend, and we say bye-bye to our fiend. And we've got a dragon fight coming up. So I managed to survive that little thing. Let's see, I've got... Hmm, yeah, I might as well... I've got four damage on me right now, so I will use the potion. All right, good. Thank you for that reminder. I've forgotten that the last couple of turns on there. See, nothing else I've got in there. So let's roll the dice and see what happens to me. I get killed. That's what happens usually, right? Especially with... Oh, so I need to... F oh, I need to spend those two items in there. If there's some way to get a five into one of these, it would be really great. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, that's not good. Seven, six, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The good news is I can prevent the damage. The bad news is I'm not damaging the dragon. Oh, yes, of course. We've got, we always have this available. So what if I do that instead? All right, that'll be 6, 12, 16, 17, but I do have a 6 there. Good. So that'll be the first point of damage on the dragon. Magic. I've got... Oh, that's right. I was wondering what happened to my black dice. Of course, because I used that black die for other things. One possibility to see if I could get a black die and a blue die. See if that does anything for me. That was ooh, a slight improvement, but 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I can now theoretically fill that in, but that will still leave me without... Well, I can't fill that in no matter what. So if that's the case... And I don't want to... Getting the double sixes is not going to do me any good because I've got every bit of yellow that I need. Right, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17. I'll take two damage and only do one damage against the dragon. Oh, any way around this whatsoever. Four. If I spend four. I can increase a die plus one. The yellow ink, the yellow die would be useless. Useless. The yeah, but I don't need a four. I need a random die apparently. The other possibility is doing this. Oh, actually, yes, a four does help me. problem is that requires spending four mana, which means I failed to do that. You can't have everything, can you? Not today. At least not today. And nothing I have uses a red die. <laughs> so yes, I guess I'll just have to spend that in there and take my blows because this looks like it's not going to be my day for that. But in the round, two damage, only one point on the dragon. Actually, I think getting this far or the first time playing this particular style is not too bad. So that's something to keep in mind here. Six. That's three potential damage to the dragon. Unfortunately, it's A, preventing damage, and B, getting those armors filled up. That's going to be the tricky bit. Now, I can get one filled by spending four mana. We already know what problem that's going to be. Nine, ten, eleven, fifteen. So I'm one short on that. Which means I'll have to do that in order to twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen. All right, so I could fill that and skill that in. I get two hits on the dragon. I don't think I have nearly enough of what I need in order to do all this. Unfortunately, let's see. We need. If I did a cleave, I need 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. Once again, giving up the ability to damage the dragon. And that's... Ooh, of course, we do have the double sixes I can get. Ooh, 
Right. Oh, no, not that one. This one. Actually, it's not the, that. That's a single six. But that at least gives you 4, 8, 17, and that. So at least now I have everything done I need for yellow. And then for here, I can get 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So if I do this, then obviously this is the one I want to increase, so I fill in one of these. And then I can have, well that looks like that's going to be turning into an armor thing at this point. Because unfortunately I don't think I can do anything else than that. 11, 15, 16, 6. 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Uh, um, interesting. Very interesting. Maybe there is something I can do this and this can give me hmm, I think I'm right well that could give me a three blue effectively with this and with three, or I can get plus one to several things. Now, unfortunately, the plus one to several things isn't going to do e any good whatsoever. But I guess I could turn these into three blue and roll and hope. That's the only thing I can... I say roll and hope. Now, which one would be better? This might be better because then I could cover up the blue. Yeah, I think this one might be better. Not <laughs> if I roll like that. <laughs> uh, I'm doomed. <laughs> Not with a roll like that. Oh, well, that is it. <laughs> That's pretty much it for that. Because I don't... I would... It was essentially, the, can I get a halfway decent roll? And if I could, then I could do something with it. Obviously, that's not my definition of a halfway decent roll. And I can't use the cleave in order to help push that into something useful. So we will actually... Yeah, that's exactly it, and that's exactly it, so I can't free up anything in there. So we'll end the round there. And it's unlikely I'm going to do anything here, but it looks like we get one more round before I get killed. But I was hoping to get, because if I had two in there, there might have been some slim hope. But... Not any longer. See, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nothing there. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There. So I'm going to have to do quite a bit in order to parlay this into something useful. Hmm. And of course, I can't take any damage on this round. Yeah, simple. Now, let's see. Now, obviously, we do have the matter of crushing blow, but converting one to twos, or more likely converting one of these. Let's see. Anything else I can do with one point here? It's just want to see if there's anything I could do with this one point before I...
Let's try that. Let's see if that does anything for me. All right. Hmm. Interesting. 12, 17. Okay, that gives me my 17. Now, let's see if I get 3, 6. Yeah, actually, I think that because if I could... No, because in order to cleave there, I need a yellow die. So let's see, 9, 10, and 12. Well, there is still Crushing Blow available. 11, 12. And we got two yellow... Two. Boy, this is really dreadful, which is why Cleave might be a good item to have. I don't have enough blue dice, 9, 10, 11, 12. Without enough blue dice, the whole thing is in a desperate straits. It appears that my only choice is to try to minimize how bad this goes instead of actually coming around to finding a way to survive it. Let's see, we need actually I don't find a way to get another... Yeah, I absolutely positively need another red die. There's absolutely no way around it because otherwise I won't be able to fill in those right there. So I'm going to have to spend that. Put that up by one. Alright, so that gives me one of them. And then let's see, we need this. Okay, that gives us okay, that gives us our 17 and it gives us one damage. I know whoop did he do. So at least we have everything we need for yellow. That means I could spend a yellow without any trouble to increase things by one. Now I can't do anything about blue except for doing the next point of damage and say, uh, actually, I wouldn't be killing the dragon with my dying breath because I'll need four points of damage. I can't possibly do that. So that's a, another little minor detail in there. And so what I want, I want that increased by one, that increased by one. Let's see, that increased by one, and nothing else really is going to matter one way or the other, so let's just do that. There you go. We'll just stick that into there, that into there, that into there, that into there, there, there. Absolutely nothing can go into there. I don't have enough to go into there whatsoever, and... I need six magic in order to get the double yellow, and <laughs> yeah, six magic to get double yellow, and the only thing I can do with it is to convert into a black die, which is full circle with zero effect. Yeah, pretty much zero effect on there. Now, it might have been possibility that I was able to... I can't remember if one of those was five at the beginning of the turn, in which case I could turn the five into a six and done one less thing in there and put one into there and... No, but then... Black... Yeah, you put a black die in there, you put six there in there, and that would have taken care of that. But it's a bit late now on the on that possibility, even if it were a legal way to do it. That's it. That's the end of the game. Five damage, which kills me, and the dragon has two left. So the dragon wins. Well, 
I at least got seven seven points on the campaign trail and uh, that was my first confrontation with our mirror flexion here and that is one deck dungeon with the new fiend expansion that has just been added it is called the abyssal depths latest addition there remember this is something that has been added to the digital game already but the physical version of this has been delayed so the physical version is not yet available as of this recording and i think there we might be hearing about that perhaps in a couple of months i don't know if there's going to be a kickstarter on it or if they're going to directly print it or what but I'm sure we'll be hearing about that soon. But that's it for this week's Pine Leaf on Board, where we played One Deck Dungeon, where we played the Aquamancer against the Dragon and the Mereflection. And that's it for today. Good night.